Derek, next up's a tough away one to Ibrox. How do you approach this this match? Just the same way, really. You just approach every game, try and find a way to win the game, which is your intention. Um, obviously, some games are more challenging than others, and this will be up there. Um, you know, Rangers um, are a side full of top players, a very Im impressive squad. Um, so we know that going there, nobody will really expect us to get a result, but we've got to try and go there with the intention of being as good as we can, being as organised as we can, being as aggressive as we can in certain situations. Um, and hopefully, as I say, be good enough to get the result. We don't just want to go there and experience um, playing at Ibrox, we want to go there and try and experience getting a positive result. And if we can get anything from the game, that will be exactly that. So we've got a lot of players that will be playing there for the first time, and we've a lot of players who've experienced it before. But you know, we want to experience getting a good result, and hopefully we can be good enough on the day um, to do exactly that. We're going to have to suffer in the game, and we have to. Do Rangers will probably have a lot more possession than we, than we would like. Um, but it's important that we um, stay strong mentally with that. There'll be a big physical output from us as well to make sure we. Um, cover the ground and try and do our work um, and try and get the, the balance right between attacking and defending. We can't just all be about there standing uh, in our own half defending. We've got to try and go and offer ourselves and you know, hopefully we can be good enough in those moments to cause Rangers problems. After the season in the Championship and then the new players that have came in, are these the kind of fixtures that the players and even yourself have been, been really excited for? Yeah, I think uh, obviously when the, the fixtures come out, you know, these games have came that is really quite obviously followed up with Celtic next week um, and we're still trying to assemble our, our squads for the season and different players at different stages in terms of fitness and all the rest of it but you know it's it's uh, you know you take yourself back uh, from a command up perspective this time last year looking at the fixtures you'd have bitten the hand off for Rangers and Celtic so we know they're going to be tough games and they come at us pretty quickly but at the same token you know, I was encouraged with last week's performance. I'm encouraged with how the players of their approach has been um, since we came in, actually, but not not just this se uh, this season. Um, and I think there was so many positives to take from the game last week. Obviously, the, the, you know, the, the positive would have been winning the game. That would have been the biggest positive. But we certainly did enough to to win the game. And from that side, of it, I've got to be pleased with the majority of it. Um, this is another game. There's the same three points available, and we've got to try and. Um, increase our levels, keep improving, be fully concentrated and try and be good enough to, to get a result. How have the preparations and the training been this week leading up to this, this game? Yeah, good. Obviously, Lewis Mayo can't play we always, um, against his parent club and we knew that was always going to be the downside of the loan, but the flip side of it, we think, outweighs that. All the other games he can be available for. Um, so, we're um, looking at options to play uh, the, the player to come in and replace Lewis for this one. Um, and try to find, as I say, the, the, the preparation has been um, just as you would normally do, fine tuning it towards your weekend and being specific about your, your direct opponent, but also try to reinforce a lot of the good stuff that we've done um, from last week. So preparation different than the fact that we go and train at Cowinning um, and uh, we're grateful for their help um, um, training on grass because we do think that for those 17 times we play in grass this season away from home in the league that the preparation through that week has to be more uh, on grass pitches than our own pitch so um, and that's what we've tried to do this week. And we've just signed Jerry Dorset. What, what can we expect from him? He was a young boy for, for Eden, um, good size about him, good athleticism, good pace about him, um, really keen to be here, he had a really good loan at Rochdale last season and um, um, 37 games I think he played from Reading um, Reading were looking to try and get him a really good loan and obviously he was one of a few who were on a list for us um, and we were looking obviously it's accelerated a wee bit this week with Lewis Mayo not being uh, available and we were looking for a left sided uh, defender really so he can play left back and he can play left centre back so he's got a wee bit of flexibility there with his position so um, but a really good boy, um, really enthusiastic to be here um, and looking forward to working with him. Like the rest of the loan players, um, we are signing a lot of loan players this season because um, we, we probably need to be better in terms of preparing for the next couple of windows. But a, a number of factors in that, the fact that we didn't know what league we were going to be in, 
Um, the fact that we've now obviously advertised a role for head of recruitment to come and assist me and the club with what we're trying to do. So a lot of these loans are, are necessary at the minute. Um, and But what we want from each and every one of them is to make sure that they buy in and think like a Kilmarnock player and think about our objectives for the season as well as our own. And how's the rest of the squad looking going to the game? Well, Jordan Jones has done a bit of work with Fizzle today, which is great. Um, hoping there's no reaction. Um, you know, he's close and obviously really keen, and as we are, to get him involved at the weekend. Um, so we'll wait and see on that one. Chris Stokes has increased his work. He's going to be back full training, we hope, next week. Um, hopefully at the start of the week, but certainly through part of the week he'll be back in involved. Um, Zach's still out, he's been down at Middlesbrough, Scott Robinson's still out, so Emma Lewis is been, eh, not able to play. That's um, about four or five boys out. Blair Olsen and Christie's work um, as well, he's had a full week's training, so taking that step back closer, but mindful that he's missed about four weeks of pre-season, so um, playing a wee bit of catch-up, but brilliant to have his influence back in around the training pitch.